Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. He made it. Glocaine is here. What's up, bro? We here, y'all. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome, bro. What's going on? I'm chilling, man. Just killed that freestyle. You know, a lot of people may not know this, but you were uh, you were actually going to do the Harlem cipher, but you were you go, you were stuck out in L.A. Yeah, you couldn't make it. But we had to make sure that you came back. We had to make sure we get you know you had the same. We definitely beat. had to make a lot of arrangements. You know, we here though. Take over. You know, we here though. And I, of course, we had to bring you in for an interview too, man. Because I think your style, like the your music, like the album art, like all of it's dope. Though I need to like pick your brain about shit too. <laughs> Yo, one thing I know, like. Everything about me is like is gonna be spectacular, magnificent. Everything glow, glow like it, it's gonna glow. It's gonna do everything. Like it's gonna look good. I like how you incorporate like glow into everything you do too. Everything and not even just like in like a, a visual sense, but in like a in like the wording and all that shit like that too. Like that shit is fire to me. Everything. Everything is about the glow. You feel what I'm saying? Everything. How'd you get the name Glow Cane? How did that how did that happen? Uh I ain't gonna lie. When I was young, I used to listen to a lot of salsa. Okay. <laughs> I used to like I ain't gonna lie. When I used to be young, I used to always like what like a lot of Chief Keef. Yeah, listen to a lot of Chief Keef. Then after that, everybody used to like, yo, call your name. Like you should start saying just glow, cause my name just feel mm. me. So you just glow. Then after that, when I started rapping, everybody like, you was glow. Then after that, my brother and I'm like, glow cane. So I'm like, nah, that's fire. Glow cane is fire, yeah. That's fire. So I started using it. Just ran off with it. You bring the glow everywhere with you. Everywhere. The glow is every, it stay with me. Before before the name, it stood with me. So now it's just here with me. It's here with me forever. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? Was Sosa kind of like the one to inspire you to, to start rapping? Sosa, I mean, I mean, not, nah, not nah, really. I ain't gonna lie, so I ain't gonna lie, Sosa. He, he, I ain't gonna lie. He a swaggy person. Like Facts. Bes besides the the rapping, it's just like he a swaggy person. So it's just like, feel what I'm saying? That's how I just look at him. Like I don't look at him as like he definitely nice though. Right. But I don't look at it like he got me rapping. You know? Who do you feel like? Who do you feel like was like had the biggest influence on, on your music? Whether it be uh, an artist or someone. I say my like my brothers. Your brothers. People I hung around with. It's like a crew type shit. Yeah. And I feel like like it's cool, and I I've definitely said this in a bunch of other interviews with Harlem artists, but I love the sound in Harlem right now because it's not just <laughs> one sound. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. A lot of different things going on. It's a lot of sounds in Harlem. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of sounds. Uh. One thing about me is I, I, I like to experiment on a lot of sounds. I, I like to switch it up, mm. go this way, go that way. I probably go this way one day, then... That way the other day. Yeah, so it's just like I, I, I like to experiment, so... What you been uh, experimenting with recently? Uh, On the singing part. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I've been experimenting on. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I like how my voice sound on it. Um, I probably throw like on the... A few songs, like two, two, one, or one song on my album, I'm singing. So mm -hmm. definitely, I like how my voice sounds. How's the singing coming along? It sounds fire. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you do? Lie. You did like vocal lessons, or you just kind of did it like by yourself? You just kind of self-taught and shit. Yeah, like not really vocal. Like yeah, I just play with my voice in the studio. Like I never really had like vocal lessons. Like, right. I just play with my voice in the studio. That's about it. Just, you found the right sound. Yeah, just play with the voice. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Like what's going on in Harlem right now, because like I feel like, I feel like right now, especially over this past month, like every I feel like sometimes like I get waves of artists from certain places, right? And that like that's an indicator of like things going on and things happening and shit like that. Like mm -hmm. obviously I had a really big wave like in the fall of last year from the Bronx, right? And then right now I feel like the wave that I'm getting right now is from Harlem, which I love. You know, whether it be the drill rappers or the non-drill rappers or, you know what I'm saying, the melodic artists, people like yourself, Fergie, Deli, Cal, yeah. like, I, it's cool. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like Harlem now, it's a lot of, like, we've been had it, but it's just like mm -hmm. a lot of, like, the old is just being mixed with the new. So it's just like, yeah. it, then after that, people is just now starting to catch on. Like, we got a few people, but, like, a lot of people just, like, starting to, like, Getting themselves out there and doing what they gotta do. But like 
that's what you got to do to get yourself out there, do what you got to do. But, like, I feel like just, just be yourself and just, like, and just, like, basically, like, like, uh, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I feel like just, I feel like I, every time I do something, I feel like I want to do something new. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like doing something new is, like, you feel me? I don't know, bro. <laughs> you got a little, you got a little off, off, off track. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Ask the question again. <laughs> cause, I, cause I was saying, oh, so we were talking about like what you've been experimenting with, right, in, in Harlem right now, and the sound, and how there's a lot of different artists, right? And I think that's how you got into like Harlem, or always been having it, and then now it's like there's like a lot of different sounds in Harlem and things to I experiment mean, with. Yeah, cause not. a lot, like a, a lot of people be listening to new music. To switch their sound off from the old sound. Right. So it's just like... The old mixing with the new. Yeah, so it's just like... Harlem is like... Harlem always had like that one specific sound. Mm. Of like... Not specific sound, but you would know if a person is from Harlem when they rap on a song. Right. Like, so it's just like nowadays, people just trying to like... I, That's old. Let's try something new. Let's like... And it's new rappers coming out with different flows. So other people experiment new flows and trying new things. So, how did you, Delhi, Fergie? How did all y'all kind of meet? I ain't gonna lie. I grew up with. Um, you grew up with them. I grew up with Delhi. Okay. Like I knew him since uh, we was kids. Uh, since like uh, kids, like his grandmother used to babysit me. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, F- Fergie. Um, we live in the same. I don't want to say too much, but. Yeah, same, same area. Same area yep. Uh, um, Haas, we live in the same like. Everybody lives close. Yeah, to each other we just shit. live close. Like, so, and I think, and, and I ain't gonna lie. Everybody used to do like back in the day. People used to play basketball. Small, yeah, small, New York small, small, small yeah, thing. New York so it's like everybody small. had an activity, and then once everybody linked up, right. So it's like everybody was just chilling, getting to know each, getting to know each other, mm-hmm. shit like that. So, and I gotta say, like you know, the glorious tape. <laughs> <laughs> the album cover is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, uh, first of all, who made the album cover? I gotta, we gotta shout them out. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my boy Henry. Henry, shout out Henry. to Henry. Yo, Henry, the that, goat. that is a young. That nigga is a young mastermind when it comes to cover arts. That nigga is nice. Like, he's nice. He he listens very well when you want something to be done specifically in the right way. He's nice. So. He gave you the Ellis Matrix cover art. Yeah, that's something I had to really sit down and think about. And then when I said it to him, he, he got Oh, so you came up with the concept? Yeah. You feel like Neo? Yes. Why do you feel like Neo? Why do you feel like Neo? Neo, like, I just like... You got the glasses for it today. Yeah, and it wasn't even for that. But it's like, um... That, like that. I ain't gonna lie. I based my... I put that cover because it's like... I really like the Matrix, like like the films. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, and then when they when they did the like certain shit on um like the, in the movie, huh? Oh, no, I thought you were talking about the new one. No, nah, I, I don't really like the new one. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> the new. I ain't gonna lie, I heard like I watched some of it and it wasn't really that sure. how the how the um the old, old ones was, was yeah. the old one was so like intense and. At all times. Yeah, it's like you could you could continuously watch it over and over and over. Right. This one is it's too long and then it's like It's kinda slow. Yeah. I don't I won't even dig that. But, but you were saying about the old about the the Matrix movies in general and how you in, in, yeah, in inspired but, um, the cover. Yeah. How I came about the covers, um so basically how I used to watch it and then after that, um when I was just sitting in my crib one day, I'm just like, yo, I wanna put um something together mm. about the Matrix on my cover since I'm like so into it, my favorite color black and lime green. Mm. So it's just like when I um thought of that, I'm just like, oh the Matrix. And then after that I thought about Neo. Um he light skinned, I'm light skinned too, so I had to go with it. <laughs> feel me? And then after that I'm like what he wearing is like I ain't gonna lie, it's some some fire shit. So I'm just like, nah, that's some easy shit I could really do. Like throw a little black shirt on, right? Throw a little jacket me? on, some yeah, shit like throw that. A little jacket, and then after that, I put the cover, the cover with the moving. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that shit was fire. Cause I felt like 
the way he be doing shit in the movie, mm. I had to put that on my cover. Like, and then after that, and then I didn't even think it was gonna go that crazy when I first um posted on Instagram or got it done. I'm just like, yo, this shit fire. And then after that, my brother was like, and all my friends were like, yo, that shit hard. <laughs> Might be the hard, hard, one of the hardest album covers of the yeah. year. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people was telling me like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never think thinking some shit like that. Like, I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I really had to sit in my crib and just really dig deep into like what artists is mm. ain't really do some shit like that. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. So it's just like, yeah. I tried to base base my whole shit off the Matrix, but a lot of people just started doing it. So <laughs> time to switch it up. Time to switch it up. Global warm. Global warm. So global warm is uh, the new tape. It's no release date yet. No release date. I have seen the cover. It's very dope. Just as dope as the last tape. Yeah. What does this tape mean to you this time around? Like you know what I'm saying. Global warming. It's like it's time. It's time. Like it's 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 a storm coming. It's You're going, the storm. It's going to hit real hard. It's going to hit real hard when it drop. It's going to hit real hard. It's, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I ain't going to lie. I feel like this one is more like the more like it's, I feel like this tape is going to be more like like more more of me. Like I'm going to put more into it like mm -hmm. than the first one. I'm going to make it to where that shit gonna be it. Uh, it should be one of them. What are you gonna? What are you putting into this one that you didn't put into the last one? Uh, I'm put more songs. I'm put more. Uh, actually, I was going like one thing about it. I I want to put like not put but get like I, I ain't really get my songs like mix and master. Mm. So that's what one thing I want to do this time around. Yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie. Before I was just on some like. Just put it out there after I just finished record. But like but some people when I got to LA, they was just telling me like when you record, do this and that, mm -hmm. uh uh, you will sound way better when you do this. I'm like, I right, bet. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I do that. And then I'm gonna make sure I sound better than before. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That's one thing I'm gonna sound better than before. Come harder than before. Like everything is gonna be magnificent, like I said. Magnificent. Do you have anybody on the project with you? Uh, no. It's all you. All me. Any reason for that? Uh, I mean, not really, because for artists, like not for artists, but like for me, mm -hmm. I just like solo songs because I feel like a person would like a person that really want to hear you mm -hmm. would just play your song all day instead of just like. Listen to the song and then waiting for your, that person part to come and then like nah I don't I mean it's cool to have like features and stuff mm. but I just feel like I I just feel like I I don't really want features on on like my taste right now like nah I'm just really. showing off of it yeah I'm are just, you open to doing like features maybe not on your yeah case, but. I'm open to do features all day every day but I just feel like right as of right now I just need to work on myself. Putting me out there before I work on like anything just doing, else. Yeah, just doing anything else. Do you do? I know you do like a you did like a little modeling at some point, right? Yeah, facts. So what what are you kind of working with in that space now? Uh, I did modeling for like Nike. Mm -hmm. Nike. Uh, I do modeling for like other brands and stuff, but it's just like um, uh, it's not really like set modeling thing. Like I'm trying to get into modeling, like most definitely, like. You want it to be like a set thing for you too. Yeah, like I know I can get um, I I can get in there, but that's what, that's one of the things I want to do is right. get into. I'm not really like fully set into the modeling. It's just like she like I knew one of the ladies that that works there that worked there, and she just picked me up for the gig one day, and he just got on the set. Word. Now I feel I feel that. So you want to do more, but you're not sure if it's if more is gonna happen just yet. No, I want to do more, but um, I don't want to put. Like my all into it because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to like focus on focus on the music. The music, music is what's most yeah, important. Yeah, but like I definitely like if I find a way, modeling this day, I'm gonna definitely get that get that job get done. So 
So so that could be Gucci so. Word. So, okay, project on the way. Um, all you. You got you got anything else in the works? Anything else cooking? I know you shot some vids while you was out in LA. Um, anything else you working on currently? Uh right now, currently, um, um right now. Right now, currently, I'm I'm just working on my tape right now because I ain't really j- dropping a minute. Mm-hmm. So I'm working on that. Global Warming, warming coming soon. Coming soon. Well, I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm excited for the people to see your free sign. I'm happy we finally got to get you in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything else you want to let them know before we sign off? This camera right here where they can follow you at all that good stuff. Yo, follow me at Glow Cane. The swaggiest nigga in Harlem, man. That niggas know the vibe. Cold, y'all gonna see us. We coming real hard. We coming aggressive. Y'all know how we coming. The flyest niggas uptown. So, we don't gotta say too much, but y'all niggas know the vibe. <laughs> you heard, yo, you heard him right there. Um, new project, Global Warming, on the way. Make sure you go check that out when it comes out. Make sure you go run up all the projects he has out now. Make sure you go run up the freestyle. And of course, go show the Harlem Cypher some love as well. Go show go show the bros some love. Fer, Fergie, uh, Deli, Deli Haas, everybody that, Caliente, everybody that performed Harlem Cypher, go show them some love. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Make sure you go run all that up. Go run up the freestyle. Till next time, Glow Kane on the radar. Appreciate you, bro. Shout out love. to my boy.